Howdy, howdy, guys, gals. I'm Double J. Welcome to Planet Crafters, uh, new open world survival craft um, game that just dropped not too long ago. What is it? Early access 0 0.4.004. It is, uh, it looks really cool. Um, you are terraforming a like desolate planet and yeah well it's i played for a little bit to see uh see what it was like and i really enjoyed it so we will start a game from scratch and this time uh use a little bit of what i learned uh messing around to uh maybe build better anyways without further ado let's get into planet crafter hope you enjoy and here's something I took a long time to realize. There's a message right here. Got your chair. You got a little uh, chest here with uh, Lerma seed, space food, oxygen, and water. Uh, even with this door open, you do still fill your oxygen fills up. Then you step outside, and it depletes. Now for this one, I did do random spawn, standard difficulty, random spawn, and I think those are the two things you could select. So we got a crafting table here, oxygen bottle, water bottle, microchip, blah, 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 blah. We'll go through that because if you see in the top left corner, I have a lot of stuff to do, but we're going to read the message first. Welcome to your assigned planet. Your mission is to advance the terraformation process of this world. Generate O2, heat, and pressure to do so. First, reach 175,000 TI and create a blue atmosphere. Here, 3058, Sentinel Corp. So yeah, this is our duties. Right, let's get one. It's to terraform this planet. So let's go ahead and grab us. Oh, not use. Not use, whoopsies. Oh, well, it's water. It's nice. Where did we land? Oh, this is a cool area. Oh, there's a wreck right here. We got, oh, we got aluminum right here. Heck yeah, cobalt, titanium. What's in the wreckage? We'll get some good loots out of this. Come on. Let me in, let me in. Oh, don't start that again. All right, let's get in here. There we go. Oh, we got lots of loot. Oh, oxygen level ball. Uh-huh, there we go. What do we got in here? We got boop, 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 I guess. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, oh, eat that. Why not? Uh, what else we got? We got aluminum. Num. We have no space in our inventory, so. Uh, before we start going all willy nilly, um, exploring and looting, let's let's do the first, the first thing in our mission list. Hmm? Craft backpack tier one. So that'd be here. That's two irons. Do we have another iron in here? We do not. Let's get it going. Let's see here. Of course, I went the wrong way. Whatever direction I would have picked, there wouldn't have been iron in that direction for like you know, 80 miles. What's that? Aluminum. Num. Oh, inventory is a food. Let's go ahead and make us a water real quick. And then we'll go ahead and make a backpack. We will equip a backpack. What? So we have slots here, which is where we put our upgrades. And then we can upgrade the amount of slots we have to make better stuff over here. <laughs> Alright, so now we got a backpack tier one. Now it says oxygen tank tier one. That takes. Two cobalts and a magnesium. Um. All right, we got a little bit of space. Two cobalts. Let's grab two of these. And the 
Magnesium. That's aluminum. Oh, we got all kinds of loot and doom. Oh, a blueprint. Yes. Although we can't even use that right now, so should have probably just left it right there. Where? Oh, where? I don't have oxygen tank on me. I gotta run back before I pass out. As I said that. <laughs> Um, you do lose some of your stuff. It's kind of similar to Subnautica esque, because then you'll lose some of your inventory. Uh, you can go back and pick it up if you can get back there. Uh, there is a more difficult mode where you everything is deleted when you die, and then there's a hardcore mode where your save files deleted when you die, and then there's the easy mode, chill mode where nothing's deleted when you die. And then, you know, the oxygen and water and health deplete slower. All right, we're gonna do this. We'll put this in here. That's for later. We'll go ahead and make an oxygen. We'll go ahead and make a tank. We need a magnesium. That's right, we're looking for magnesium. We need a new series on this channel. It's uh, gonna be the new mechanic, I think. I really like it. I'm really digging it. Um, I'm excited to see how it grows as it progresses. All right, so we click this and that'll pop it over here. And now we have 145.02 instead of 100. So now we need to craft the construction microchip and that takes two silicones to magnesiums. All right, we've got an oxygen and a water and a food. Let's go ahead and just two silicone to magnesium. Oh, gosh. Was this here the whole time? Now, I will probably cut out or time lapse a lot of that walking around because there's a lot of it. It's early game in any survival game, there's a lot of the grinding. Well, I will probably just cut to from me doing all the goodies. All right, now we got construction. And if you look over on the right hand side of my gun there, I'm going to pull up Q, and this is what we can build so far. So we got a living compartment, a door, ladder, outside lamp, foundation. And here's where it comes into what we need to do. Here's heater. Uh, this powers everything. A drill, this releases the pressure. And then a veggie tube, which makes oxygen. And this is the craft station, the next tier craft station. Then you got our screens that we're going to need and our decorations and storage. So now it wants us to craft a living compartment. Well, knowing what I do know now, um, I am going to uh, find altitude because altitude is your friend in this one, as I found out. So we need to find a really nice looking place to build. Hmm. We up this way. I'm actually going to not be stupid about this. And um, gather up some oxygen tanks. Ooh, we got a storm wind coming. And already, meteor storm, which brings new minerals, which is a nice way of keeping it from depleting. Like you saw, all these little nodes that I harvest deplete and don't come back. So this is the way of bringing them back. Now, I have yet to get hit by one, so I don't know if it will kill you or not. I prefer not to test that. Even though I probably should have tested it in my test world. <laughs> well, it looks so cool at night. Alright, then there we go. We've got four or five. I can count. We've got five oxygen, three water, and two foods. Let's go ahead and gobble up real quick. And actually, we've got two water, so there we go. Let's try and find somewhere to. Oh, yeah, roots. We're going to need two, tit two iron and titanium. We can find that on the road here. Alright, let's. Let's go this way. 
And you need two iron and titanium. What's really nice about this game is that the power that you lay down is global. So like I could put a windmill over there and be way over on the other side of the world and still suck that power up. So you don't have to worry about placing stuff like within wiring distance or anything like that, which is really, really nice actually. And there we go. Now we put that in there. And then we should be able to run back over here now to our base, take it down and try to finagle it to get it to sit nicely. And you can multi multi-story build in here as well. It's really cool that um, the unlock system works by what you're doing, like how much heat you're doing, how much pressure you've unlocked, how much oxygen, how much biomass, and each one's got its own set of unlocks that you go along. It's really, really quite cool. I like how they've done it. All right, now, do we have any iron? We can make a wind turbine here. Because it keeps yelling at me low power, but I have nothing to power yet. Which is about to change. Let's go ahead and make one of these. That makes 1.2 power per second. It looks very cool. Alright, and then, uh... We need to, what do they want us to do? Craft a drill till, till <laughs> tier one. So that's titanium and iron. Okay, let's do that real quick. Let's work down the list, get that off the screen. Just like seven days to die and you know, many other survival games. Okay, so this is gonna use up power. And, uh, Start drilling into the core and releasing the pressure. And you want more of those and more of those. And you want the, you see the top right, you know, terraformation index for TI, I'm at two. Our first goal is 175,000. All right, so I learned that you can actually make this thing called a desk that holds these screens nicely. And you don't have to stick them on the floor. So let's grab some iron. All right, so let's go ahead and make a desk. Let's put the here. Uh, yeah. Then did you see that when I clipped into something, it actually showed you and highlighted in red what you were clipping into? Instead of just saying, can't build here, it, it's literally telling you why you can't build here. And I really like that. All right, we need a cobalt and a silk. What do we need for the other one? And the silicone. So two silicones. Hopefully they'll implement like they do in Subnautica. This is giving me big Subnautica vibes. Desert Subnautica. But, uh, where if you build it, uh, it just auto connects legs to the ground. That would be really cool. Um, so we need... Oh wait, this is the big one. So we'll put that over here. All right, and then we need the blueprints. Uh, oh, we need iron for that. What do we need for this? And iron for that. And... Anyways, let's go about the blueprint screen. And this fits nicely on your little computer desk like this. Now here's where your unlocks are. So you got your your overall terraformation. Hydration level low, okay. Take care of that. Um, you got your overall terraformation. This unlocks at certain levels like 300 TI, 1.00 KTI, and so forth. And this is how much oxygen you're making. So this, produ this unlocks as you start producing more and more oxygen. Same goes for the heat and the pressure and like it gets ridiculous like we're talking 364.5 mbas uh, um of pressure and we're at 49 right 
the nuclear fusion generator you know it's <laughs> it gets a little crazy so we're sitting at 51 we're gonna have a little while till that happens but it wants us to make a heater now and we need iridium iron and silicone well iridium is somewhere else <laughs> Oh, it took me a hot minute to find it for so The oxygen tank unlock because we've gotten to a certain level. All right, and then they get to deconstruct some of the stuff to actually get in, which is cool. All right, what are we got? In? Oh. That's another thing though. Interacting is click, and if you have this uh, deconstruct, is click. So you're like you go to like climb a ladder and you'll deconstruct your ladder instead of climbing it. It's kind of frustrating at times. All right, what do we got in here? Uh, iridium. No. We have to really need to food. I need iridium. Can I find some or do I got to go into a cave? No. Ooh, super ally. And these plants, they go in the oxygen generators, but we could deal with those later. Wow. Oh, here's iridium. Oh, and this too. Uh, well, I'll go ahead and just put the iron in there. Take some of these. All right, let's go ahead and scramble on back home. Uh, I will see you when we get there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at our home. And yeah, right that way. If I go that way, we'll go to where I landed in my other world. Alright, so it wants us to create a heater. So let's go ahead and create a heater. We'll put that up against that. There we go. Well, now we're out of power. So now we need to make power. We need iron. Alright. Now let's line this little guy up here. Line this one up. This is where, like, in my other game, I... Just I picked up iron and I slapped down a wind turbine wherever I was. I just the whole place is just a mess. I want to try and make the meter. Although I'm not a fan of the clipping through, so uh it is nice you do get all your resources back. I don't know how long that'll be a thing. I hope forever, but there we go. Can we make another one? Yes, we can. We'll put another one right over here. A nice line of them going. All right, and I picked up some cobalt. Uh, I need to make a crafter, actually. Iron. Dang it. Just use up my last iron. Um, yeah, so I need to make a crafter so I can make some more oxygen tanks. It's all right. We may move. That's the nice thing is that we can move. We need to. I'll put this crafting station like in the kitty corner over here. That and we'll go ahead and make some oxygen. Yeah, there we go. Alright, what does it want us to make a veggie tube next? Alright, some more iron. Um, but first let's Maybe one more iron. I'm gonna go get some iron and then make a chest and then a veggie tube. So I'll see you when it's done. Alright. We're back now, so let's make a chest. Let's just put it over here. Oops, that is backwards. I'm not gonna be having none of that. There we go. There's a label on it too. See? You label it. Call it chest. And you're good to go. That's awesome. Built-in feature like that. 
Get our super alloys in here, our uranium, that'll come in handy later. Make ourselves some other oxygen. Um, and then we needed a plant tube, so we need magnesium and... What was it, ice? Yes, ice. So that's straight out the door. As I say that, <laughs> they disappear, right? Nah. Here we go. We'll make us a plant tube. These ones gotta go inside. Once you start tearing up, they can stay outside. Go ahead and put that. Oh, I'll put it right here. And then didn't we get some plants? I think I put them in the other one, didn't I? This is where you would put it. Or did I even take any? We might have to go back to that shit. But now all we gotta do is reach 175,000. So now that we got a storage, got two oxygens, I'm just going to go ahead and pretty much fill my inventory up with some oxygen and water bottles. Make our way back over to the ship and uh, attempt to get some more of that uh, good, good resources back over here so that we can progress in the building. So I will see you when I am closer to doing said thing. <laughs> All right, we are back. Now we're going to put this uh, this one, 300% oxygen multiplier in here. So now if you look at the box, it's 0.45 ppq. Whatever, I'm not going to pretend to understand what the terms are. But we are producing now. We got a blueprint. And we go in here, and you decode a blueprint microchip. And we got agility boots, tier 1. So we go in here and there's agility boots. Increases movements. We also have backpack tier two, which is iron, silicone, and titanium. Do I have all that? I don't have silicone. Well, I'll go grab the silicone. Ooh, sandstorm. Ticka, ticka, ticka. Obligatory, it's obligatory. You have to when you say that word. Um, and then I just need my backpack off my back, no, not my crafting menu. See, I'm gonna drop stuff, but you gotta pay attention when you do this because you will drop what slots the backpack adds when you take it off. All right, now I can make T2. Let's make that, because this inventory is a donk. There we go, a little bit better. Um, exoskeleton, now here, this this will increase this slottage. So what do we need? We need titanium, silicone, and magnesium. We have none of that in there. All right, here's the exoskeleton. Now we're going to put the exoskeleton... We'll take uh, deconstruction now, the exoskeleton. Now it gives four more slots. There we go. Now we'll make some water. Um, there we go. And then we can put these things in storage for, or not. Well, actually, go ahead and make us another storage. Flip it around so the Labels out. Put the stuff away. All right. Well, we've got our basic base rolling. What is this? This shows the energies. But we got what we need. We got our heater. We got our oxygen producer. Tier two crafter. We've got this is all our stats broken down. Uh, live update so you can actually see more than just the, the overall index number. Got a blueprints going on up here. What did we unlock down here? Is it pressure? It was pressure, yeah. 
we get to 250, we can get some windows on this thing. We got our wind turbines up. We got one drill. There's, <laughs> speaking of, as if it listened to me, uh, a cobalt and an iron. Actually, before we log off, let's let's go ahead and put a window on this bad boy. Ooh, cut that one really close. All right, uh, let's grab us a little, let's put it right on the, the end here. There we go. Say hello to the world. Look at all the different orbiting planets. How oh, cool. It'd be an awesome night sky to look up and see. Hey, there's one over there too. One, two, three, four. Very awesome. Anyways, this is our uh, first little delve into Planet Crafters. I will do just a tiny bit of work off camera, pretty much just grinding, getting resources so we can work on building up to the next uh, levels of stuff. And uh, that's, yeah, maybe look for the base, 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 space, place. Words not working right now. Maybe look for a new place for our base. This isn't bad, but you know. You never settle in the first place you pick. You gotta, you know, shop around. So, hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Uh, it does help out. You know, leave a comment, subscribe, you know, all this interacting stuff that YouTube needs for that algorithm to take effect. Uh, it'd be mutual appreciated. I don't know what that was supposed to be. I'd, I'd really just appreciate it. There, I can't just say that, apparently. Um. And if you'd like to get this game for yourself, uh, links will be in the description. Uh, do check it out. I think it's a really fun game. And I will see you all in the next episode. Take it easy, Zombie Squad. Catch you on the next one.